to the charter. Um, I told everybody last week, the charter committee uh, provided a list which we went to the public hearing with. A proposed changes uh, to the charter, and then they sent it and filed it with the top folks that required now it's up to the selectmen to review it, uh, hold the public hearing, we did not recommend any changes in addition or change anything that they did recommend. And then send it back to the Treasury Division Commission. <coughs> also, at that point, it's theirs. They have to hold the public hearing and then a meeting to finalize and send it to the town board with the question. Um, so I asked everybody to review what the, the Treasury Division Commission did, uh, proposed. Beyond that, or, or, or amendments to what they did proposed. So, to, to, to kind of keep it simple, I'd like to first discuss what they proposed, go around the room to see if anybody looked at what they proposed, go around the table, and if they had any issues with what they proposed at this point, not getting into any additional changes beyond. Um, Tom, can you speak up? We can't hear you. I looked at the part where the, the, the amount of the town meetings was going to be similar to $50,000 or $15,000. I thought that was a little bit excessive. It kind of slowed down the progress of the whole procedure. When I felt that maybe $20,000, $25,000, $50,000 was unreasonable. Uh, also, the uh, section on um, the that would be section 10 b on page 33 referring to and also an amendment that would and also involves amending section regarding the board of finance page 13 section 4-5a and then section 4-5a1 which is two sections of the charter it talks about the dollar amount it would strike the dollar amount from section 4-5 and then refer to section 10-4, which was kind of set the dollar amount at, well, right now currently they requested it to be set at 50000 I agree with Tom. Seems like a lot of money. I, and, and, and I agree. I said, I said it should be 25 maybe 30 at the most. 25 bucks. Because how do they come up with such a big increase? Um, is it just a figure? We talked to the finance director and other people and brought people in and talked to them. So we thought that was too low. I agree with the was too I've heard Kevin's opinions about Kevin Kane, the finance director. I know he would like to see it um, a higher sum, but personally, I don't have a problem with 15000 I have said 15000 So it's like $20,000 would be reasonable, but not $20,000. I think twenty would be a good compliment. Well, I, I agree that it's definitely high. I think that one of the things that was stated at the uh, public hearing for the Charter Review Commission was, you know, if people seem to understand that maybe an increase for possibility. I mean, 15 seems low. I don't remember when that number was instituted and which Charter Division it was. But I believe it was too high. Was it just a number that someone decided to No, I think it was. No, I mean, I, from, from being personally, I was on the last Treasury Division Committee, and what we did was we went out and asked people who made those decisions or people who had information to help us, and they went out to the finance director to ask him. So I think I think it probably came from his, his um, input, but I think 50 is way too high. 25% of the budget would be fair. So is that that we discussed this, I just haven't seen the word agreement. 20. 20. Yeah. 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 I think 50 is just unreasonable. It's too hot. All right. At this point, so we make a motion and recommend it, recommendation for a public hearing. It, it regards on, on the list presented by the Charter Commission, uh, numbers 33, 34, and 60, uh, and that would be section 45A, 45A1, Section uh, 4 10-4B to change the, the maximum appropriation to go to a meeting, reduce it from the proposed fifty thousand to twenty thousand. Motion, right? Make a motion. Second. 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 Second
first. And who's the second? All in favor of that? Aye. Aye. Okay. No, I, I meant what I wanted to look at was the Board of Finance alternates. Um, right. Which is, I had a question mark there. It's page yeah. 10, section 3-7. Right. Um, personally, I, every Board of Finance meeting that I've ever attended, the two alternates are there. I have never seen them. I mean, Valerie and I is new to the commission. She, um, um, but she's been there every time I've attended a meeting. Doug Trainer is there every time I've attended a meeting. Those are the two um, alternates to the board of finance. And Doug Trainer was there every time. Was exactly. A before you got sick. Exactly. So I don't see an argument for removing. Um, alternates from the Board of Finance. I think they are extremely well informed, they keep themselves up to date, and they provide a very necessary um, service to the Board. Uh, I've seen plenty of elected Finance Board members who miss easily 30% of the meetings, um, who are not as up to speed and as well informed as the alternates are. So I think to, re to take them out of the picture would be a, a big mistake. I think they serve a very important purpose to the Board of Finance. I agree. Any comments on that? Fine. No, that makes sense what you said. It would just be another uh, step on backwards. Yeah. No, I, I think that they're extremely valuable. And no. that is page 10, section 3-7. 3-7. Seven. Yeah. Right now it's eliminated. Yeah. I do have to say that I am in agreement with changing the term to four years. I would say Six probably years. the Board of Finance members are probably in agreement with that. Yeah. yeah. Are, Six years is just way like, you know, you're there. You're there when your kid's born and you're there and you go to yeah. college. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that just is uh, a huge commitment. So. Okay. All right, so a uh, motion to uh, reinstate Section 3-7, which would be the Board of Finance all kinds. Uh -huh. I make that motion to reinstate that Section 3-7. Do we have a copy of this document? Between all the downtime, the 
percent of his job is down cut. Really? Uh, you know what I mean. You've been on a lot for a long time. I do. But that's the way I feel about it. Um, I think I think you have to. I mean, the the public at the hearing said that they don't want the term changed from two years to four years. I t believe me, I totally get it that that there's a huge learning curve. And it takes an awful lot of time to get familiar with how things work and and um, the nature of the beast. But um, I mean, there's most political offices are every two years, and there's a reason for that. If if you're unhappy, boom, go on. And if you're delighted, then you just reelect Willie every two years. But I just feel that Qualified you are, but you get into your uh, third year, fourth year, you can really get something done. Versus going out a year and a half and right away you're ready, then it turns into a political campaign. I totally understand your point. Totally, totally. But if people, if the, the people who came to me and said they don't want it, who are we to, 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 to change the board of finance to two years? It's kind of the same thing. They get involved with the yeah, The only thing I said years. when I went to the Charter Review Commission. Why is why are, why is every other position in town that's elected four years except for the board of board select? Why are they? You were there. I said, why are they any more important than us? That's what I don't get. And, but, and if that's the case, the public feels about this, it should be all two years, not two years here. No, that's not. Two years here. No. You can't use that. The more time you spend on your job, the better you get at it. Versus bringing in new people, training. This is the way I see it. And you know what? How can we? Right now, I mean, you should go on the filter more. Yeah, I agree with you. I'll make that. That's what I'm saying. But I don't. You know, who knows if I want to make that commitment again? So now you're on for four, and I'm not maybe quitting when I start. So. So the person that takes that commitment of running for the position. But there's a lot more work in the board of selectmen than there are probably most. Committees because, because you boards because you're put on a lot of other things. That's so one of the reasons. There's so much to accomplish I think you spend in such a short time. Or you have more quality time versus always worrying about constantly working on the budgets and getting your elected. I don't worry about the re-election part. I mean, you shouldn't be worried about that. You should be just worried about your way you're supposed to be going. Yeah, just find a way that I'm telling you the facts of the two-year position. You know what, is, is this even our uh, purview to discuss? Because the we can, charter revision did not we can, no, did we not can, bring we this can bring to up, We can bring up anything. Doesn't, doesn't, mean, made, doesn't they, mean that they're going to, and we go to a public hearing in, on the 22nd, right after the public hearing we'll have a special town. We'll have a special selectman meeting specifically just to discuss what was done at the public hearing and what the comments were. Do we want to stay with the changes that we, that we, we recommended? We vote to do that because we'll go through them again just like we did tonight. Well, the charter revision voted against, and then it goes back. It's, it's fine. But the selectmen can can change that and then just send it back to anything. They right. go back to the charter revision commission, well, I, I and then they, they have they have the final set. We're not bringing up things that they didn't discuss in yeah, our not. discussion here. That's what we're doing now. Right. We're not bringing up items that they didn't put forward for addressing. No, this was brought up before charter revision. And right, they Len? voted it down. Right. Doesn't mean that we can't ask them to reconsider via a public hearing, uh, a board of selectmen meeting, and send it back to them. They have to have a public hearing based on what we send back to them. And then they make the final decision. They make everything I, we I just, think when you had it at a public hearing and the public said they don't want it, why are we going for it? Well, they didn't because the, 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 it wasn't presented the charter revision um, had already just, said no. To they didn't present it, though. They didn't present it to the public. And there was one comment, but it, it, it wasn't in the proposed changes. So there was no public comment at the charter revision hearing. Um. I mean, I kind of see John's point. I see Tom's point. I think that there's no other. No, no other elected office in town that's less than four years, and I think most offices are four. So I can see it from both perspectives. John's is it's a lot of work. Maybe more than two is too much to commit to. But I also not necessarily from an election perspective, but from getting a job done. I think sometimes it takes.
takes more than a couple of years to get things completed. So I mean, some of the things you're talking about, Tom, are on other committees, though, correct? Right. Other boards. You could still stay on that, even though you're not selected. Yeah, you understand that. You know, like say economic issue. development or whatever. That's what you're getting worked on. I mean, what? On the board of selecting, what work are you trying to get done? It's the other things you're on. Exactly. Just the budget process alone takes more than three years. It takes up about a third of the year. Yeah. It's a lot. So the two years is really you know, when you're trying to get You know what I, I could understand is rotating terms, where you're not replacing four or five selectmen every two years. I would I would entertain the thought of of rotating, um, where one minority selectman is up for re-election and, and one or two majority selectmen. I, I can see that, but I think just going bang from two to four years, I, I don't think that that's, um, that's a popular that, decision. That would help having a two-year position. Unfortunately, with what's ahead of us and what's ahead of the committee, commission timing, there's a lot of logistics to work out to develop staggered terms for, for well, if we're going back to them for discussion, we have somebody from the Charter Commission that would like yeah, to speak. Yeah, uh, as Charter Commission, we did not vote against four years or to change it all. We want to leave it up to the people. Right. But we did not touch it. We left it as it is in the Charter. But you did no discuss it. We did discuss it, and we decided just to leave it. As the Charter is now. So if we vote to change it, well, that's then we can go to public hearing. And then after the public hearing, we can hear what people think, and we can decide after the public hearing, we can say no, or if we think it's go forward, we send it back to Charter Vision. Charter Vision has a public hearing, they have a meeting. They can say to forget about it, and then it's... It wait a minute, wait a minute. I have your minutes, the, C, the Charter Revision minutes from June 21st. And uh, the minutes read, the next section of the charter to be discussed was the term length for the selectmen. A quick round table vote was taken to determine if this was an issue which needed extensive discussion and it was a vote of four in favor of keeping it a two-year term and three in favor of a four-year term. One member was still debating which term length would be better. A motion was made by Tara Vile, seconded by Welch, to change the selectmen's terms from two years to four years. The first motion to change the selectmen's terms, well, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. A motion was made by Tara Vile and Welch to change the selectmen's term from two years to four years. A motion was made by Francis, seconded by Miller, to table this issue until the next meeting. That vote did not carry with a vote of, with a three in favor and five opposed. The first motion, to change the selectmen's terms from two years to four years was then voted on and it did not carry with three in favor and five opposed. Yes, you did vote against changing the that's, term that's of the selectmen. Well, you just said they but we, didn't. But I they did. But we did, we, we did just change things, three items that they did vote on to change. <laughs> went through their list and we changed three of their three items. This, this is not a recommendation from and we don't, And we don't have to go by the recommendation. We can, the board segment has the right to add if we want. And then go to public hearing and a meeting and send it back to Charter Vision. And Charter Vision can say, well, not. I think it's a bad idea. I think it's a very bad idea. I think two years is already We already had a public hearing. We got a better hearing schedule for 20 seconds. So we can present any changes we make. Well, being that it was such a close vote. It wasn't a close vote. vote. Yeah, that was what I was thinking. Close. How was a close vote? Three to five. It was four it's to three. Three to three. Close. Close. Regards. All right. Do you have to make a motion and we'll vote? We'll I make a motion to uh, bring it up, back up the position of selectmen from a two year term to a four year term. Section 3 3. Okay. Discussion on the name one. All in favor? No. Aye. 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 <laughs> three. No. No. Two, no. Three, two, three. Why are you voting now? I can vote to break a tie. Well, how did you know there was going to be a tie? 
no one understands it because you don't have to work with it. You don't have to look at a person and say, I'm sorry, where you thought you had a seat, it's no longer there. Um, it is what it is, but it was just a matter of cleaning up the ballot so there'd be no questions, no confusion as to who you're voting for and who you won. And it always ends up in an argument. Yes, it does. It's not anything time. Yes. If it's, if it's yes, the it law, does. how do we change it? How can we? If it's in by your charter. charter. If it's in your charter. If it's in our charter okay. by eliminating it in the charter. Okay. Right. Where gives us the option. Yes, it does. Anything, any comments on that? I've seen what it does to Karen, I've seen what it does to candidates and people who come forward for positions. And I, I, I agree that we should we should definitely clean it up. I know it came up at our last uh, revision committee and I don't even think we understood it enough to, to change it, but Karen just did a great job explaining that. And I've seen what happens um, when people are caught in the middle. So I think we should change it based on the state's recommendation to clean up the ballot, whatever that language needs to be. All I would do is you're just going to strike that sentence because it already reads set appointments to be for the unexpired portion of the term, and it continues on or until the next regular town election plus 14 days. So you would just strike it after at, at or and take the rest of it out. That last sentence will come up. That's probably that sentence will come up. Okay. Motion. Motion to do it all for the two. Change three dash. 2A, paragraph A, uh, strike or until the next regular town election plus 14 days, whichever shall first occur. Motion, second. John, got the second. Any discussion? All in favor? Opposed? None of that stuff was prepared. Anybody, anything else? That's it? Okay.